So a lot of people were asking me for examples of primary water. Wait, what? Because they were never taught it. Primary water, right. The reason being is our educational system was taken over by the Rockefellers in the 1900s. Quick question, did the Rockefellers infiltrate the German education system as well or just the American one? Because I'm German. And then the media was taken over by Operation Mockingbird in the 1960s. Oh my God, Operation Mockingbird. Are you a QAnon supporter? Because I know they, they believe in that shit and they think everything is now fake news these days. So both systems do not teach about primary water, which is right here. Wait, that is an Artesian spring source. So you just make up a new name for something or what? This is the combination of hydrogen and oxygen coming in from inside the earth at a volcanic pressure. To hydrogen and oxygen. Yeah, that's water, H2O. Create brand new water. What the hell is brand new water? We have 325 million trillion gallons of water on this planet and we don't get more or less water. That water has been always here, so it's called the water cycle. Hopefully you learned this in high school. Living water. Water, water that does not contain fluoride, that does not contain arsenic, that does not have pharmaceuticals or drugs or anything inside of it. It's pure. And that's why back in the day when they were going into mines and they were trying to mine, for example, copper or gold or silver, whatever it may be, these mines would actually flood out. They would have to get pumps to try to pump out the water. Uh, groundwater? What are you talking about? Huh? Because the water was just coming in through the walls because there is so much water underneath us. But the media will always try to put the fear that we are running out of water. The media is not giving us the fear that we are running out of water. We are running out of water in certain parts of the planet. In other parts, we have too much water. That is the problem with climate change, that the water cycle is messed up. In some areas, it rains too much. In others, it barely rains anymore. That is the issue why we're thinking we are running out of water. Not in general, in certain parts of this planet. They start putting all this drought stuff and that we're running out of water. And then now, because we are running out of water, supposedly because we are supposedly using it all up, they're trying to usher in, for example, water police, water taxes, and all these water basically restrictions so that you can't grow your own food. I never heard about any government saying I cannot grow my own food. You can't water your lawn, you can't wash your car. So it's important to be aware of primary water, the water you have never been taught about. I can tell you why we never been taught about primary water because some people just made that word up. Huh? It's called groundwater, it's called Artesian spring source, what you chose, and it's called the water cycle. It's that simple. So water is not just water and please, do not believe in conspiracy theories and don't be a dehydrated guy. Cheers.